You do have a purpose. You know, you were placed on this world, you know, for a purpose. And if you're listening to this message, God has appointed you for this time, for this day and hour to listen to this message. Because God, I believe God is is knocking at the doors of your heart. You know, and you have to make that choice to number one, repent, acknowledge your sin. And number two, repent. What is repentance? Change the way you think. Repentance is all about changing the way you think. You're making a decision to say, you know what? I'm doing, I'm living a, this is what I'm doing is wrong. I'm going to decide to change and I'm going to push for the truth. And the first step of faith, the first step that you're going to make towards truth is receiving truth, receiving life, receiving forgiveness. And who is what is the who is the embodiment of the word of God? Who is the one that embodies that love and 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 forgiveness, you know, and holiness? His name is Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said, "I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life." He said, "Nobody goes to the Father. Nobody goes to Jesus. Nobody goes to the Father. Nobody nobody goes to eternity. You know, if it's not through and by his forgiveness because he died for you he died for me and he died for everyone and he did it because he loved us so much god the word of god says that god loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life amen so if you're watching this video and you say to me, Chris Noren, you know, I, I need Jesus Christ. You know, I, I loved it last night that we were in Tabernacle because right when my friend Reina and I were leaving, we were approaching uh, Prophet Ana Maldonado because we wanted, um, my friend wanted to say hi to her and wanted, I guess, to introduce herself. And right when we got there, um, someone came up to her and asked for a prayer and it just so happened, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it just so happens that the person who was asking for prayer, you know, uh, apparently he was involved in some kind of like new age religion or, you know, this new whole new age occultic religion that's big right now and especially in Hollywood, um. He had this huge tattoo on his forearm with a triangle and, a, and, a, and an eye. I guess um, that's what people would call nowadays like the all-seeing eye or whatnot. Not sure exactly how that works. No, don't really care either. But apparently this gentleman wanted, he wanted the prophet to pray for him. He wanted to receive, you know, um, healing. He wanted to be delivered from that because he knows that he gives place to the devil. Because when you get tattoos... You give place to the devil, especially with those kind of tattoos. You're representing some other kind of, you know, whatever. To make a long story short, this man was set free. And just, just the look on his face after the deliverance, it was just, wow, guys. Like, you needed to see the look on his face. He just looks so different. And that's what God wants to do in your life. You might say to me, oh, Chris Lauren, you know, like, I've been doing this for so and so, you know, many years. How how, how am I going to be set free from this? You know, it can be uh, either you maybe find yourself struggling with drug addictions or you might be struggling with, like, alcohol. You might be struggling with, you know, sinning with, uh, like, lying or stealing or gambling or whatnot well you know the answer jesus said it i am the way the truth and the life jesus is the answer the moment that you decide on giving your life to jesus the moment you decide and you say i'm gonna give my life to you jesus he will come in and he will give you that grace and he will deliver you and just like he said he, he delivered this young man last night and he looked completely different different man God can also do the same for you. You believe in Him. If you decide to cling on the work of the blood of Jesus. Amen. 
So just make this this quick prayer with me if you wanna, you know, give Jesus a try. You know, you've gave you have given everything a try. Now it's time to 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 receive Jesus and to give him a try. Amen. Just repeat this prayer. Say, Lord God, I come before you this day, recognizing that I am a sinner and that my sins separate me from you, from knowing you, from having a relationship with you, Lord, from hearing from you, Lord. And I pray from the deepest, most uttermost, deepest part of my heart to please forgive me for all the things that I've said and done, all the sins that I have done. Please wash them away. Make me new, make me whole, and cleanse me with your blood, Jesus. I accept you and I receive you in my heart and life as my personal Lord and Savior. And I declare that, Jesus, you died and that you rose from the dead. You came to this world. You came in the flesh. You were conceived by the Holy Spirit. And you died. But the th three days after your death, you rose back to life. I believe in what you did for me, Jesus. And right now, I receive you in my life as my personal Lord and Savior. If you made that prayer, welcome to the family of God. If you want more information... You know about um, going to church and, and assisting and you want to surround yourself with faith-filled people please don't be shy do not hesitate message me okay and I will give you more information all right God bless you may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace hallelujah don't forget guys go to King Jesus International Ministry for all the cool you know, upcoming events that are that are uh, just around the corner for the month of November. Um, and I would go over all the, the list, but I, I, I am not, I don't have time. I have other things I have to get done. So God bless you guys. Mwah. I love you. I send my prayers over to you. I send my blessings over to you. Amen. Remember, like and subscribe. I have this new YouTube channel called Fierce Passion and fire okay and remember guys today may your passion be fierce and may your fire burn bright amen god bless you